This is a rare moment of hope for Sudan. With a peaceful, diverse and sustained protest movement, the people of Sudan managed to unseat Omar al-Bashir, one of Africa's longest ruling autocrats. A civilian-led administration is now in power. But many challenges lie ahead. The generals that stood by Bashir until the last minute are reluctant to give up real authority. The economy is also in a very fragile state. This is the time to support the new civilian-led administration. It will be up to the Sudanese to protect the advances they have made through considerable sacrifice over the last few months. But outside powers can help too. Crisis Group has released a new report in which we argue that outside powers have a role in this process. The US in particular should drop the state sponsor of terrorism designation it slapped on Sudan in the mid-1990s. These sanctions hold back Sudan's once vibrant private sector, they keep foreign investors away, and most of all, they lock ordinary Sudanese out of the international financial system. The African Union should also play a continuing role as a guarantor of the peace deal, while the EU, working with the Gulf monarchies, should provide additional financial support to stabilize the economy. Moments like this don't come often in Sudan's history. It will be a shame to squander this opportunity.